G'day legends and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm giving you an inside look in an online coaching session. I'm working with a player called Jacob, who's from New Zealand. He's a good young player. This is our second one-to-one -one session. Our first was about a month ago. He's gone away and he's worked on things. So guys, this is a 45 minute online coaching session where he's in the nets, he's got his camera set up, he's got his dad throwing balls at him. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you learned something. I think there's a bit of value in it for you guys. So hopefully you get something out of it. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if this is something that you're interested in, then send us an email, info at cricketmentoring.com and we can discuss how we can help you. No matter where in the world you live, we can help you become your best. Hello. Jacob. Hello. How are you, bud? Hey, Mark. I'm good, good thank you. How are you? Not bad. How are you? <clears throat> How are you? Very good. Very good. Second lockdown. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Not too long, mate. Yeah, we're, we're in lockdown for uh, four days, and yeah, it's all right. We'll be all right. We're lucky yeah, compared sorry. to most of the world. Sorry to see uh, you had to cancel your Darwin trip, mate. That looked awesome. Yeah, very frustrating. It's just, it's just you put so much time and effort into one sort of thing, and, and it's the big sort of thing for a while, and then it just gets taken away so quickly. So frustrating, but what can you do? Yeah, I hear you. I understand. How, how are you? I understand. Going? Yeah, sorry to hear about your. How's your? Is it your ankle? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Fell through a uh, some scaffolding and cracked my ankle, so that's all right. We're getting through it. Is it all right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay, mate. Perfect time. We're getting ready for. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was um, all happened pretty quickly, so it's a bit of a tough time for us all, but we're getting yeah, through it. Right. Yeah. Awful, awful. How are you, Jake? I'm good, thank you. How are you hitting them? Um, I've been playing a bit of indoor, and I've been hitting them all right. But I mean, pretty much almost a different game into our sound. But yeah, yeah, good to see what today's net will bring. Awesome, awesome. Should we get into it? Absolutely. Yep. Hey, um, what you can do, Skulls, is if you you have a couple of three little dots on my video. Yep. Um, with that, if you if you click on that, you can yep. then um pin pin. Yep. pin my video to it. Yep, done. <clears throat> awesome. And and are you are you going to go on mute and Jacob is on? So oh no, it doesn't matter because you can pin it. Yeah, sweet, that doesn't matter at all. No. How how's the are you guys done here? Moment? Sure, man. Dad, you're not finished. You're not finished. Sorry, just one second, skulls. You're all right, mate. All good. All good. This is number one, right? This is number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you book number one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll go well, that's all right. We'll go number two if you want. Oh, yeah. Jump down, Jake. Huh? So, Jake, Jakey, just quickly, what are the what are the things you remember from last session? Obviously, probably a month ago or so, but what are the main points you remember out of that? Um, My hands, like getting my hands are... Uh, more like bottom around hand round. Yep. Yeah, bottom yep. hand round. Yep. Um, and like my head kind of pushing towards mid on and like keep staying balanced. Brilliant. Awesome. Two two simple but very, very important things. And two very two things that people are so common that people get wrong. So yeah, excellent. Yeah. So just get them right in your setup and then watch the ball and react. Sweet. Is it freezing there at the moment? Is it all right? Yeah, it's been very cold today. What about yes. indoors? Is it, it looks all right there now inside? Yes, yeah, not not too bad here. My uh, my brother, my twin brother, his partner, fiance, her her she's from New Zealand. She's from Auckland. Her parents are meant to come to Perth on Friday, but I don't think they're going to be able to now. They haven't I seen. Did just hear, I, I did just hear that they're opening up. Um... Uh, some of the flights again over the next few days. So, to, oh, I, really? That's good. I, I don't know which states. Um, right. It was just as I was leaving the house, but yeah, yeah right. you never know. 
Uh, fingers crossed. They haven't like they've got a one. They got a fifteen month old son, and they haven't the grandparents haven't seen him since he was born, really. So hopefully, I think they were very much looking forward to it. But yeah, bloody COVID makes life hard to travel. Does it ever? Right. Sorry, Jake. Ah. Good. Take your time. Okay, so just to, so when you're defending, just as a general rule, you want to try and defend between mid on mid off. You're defended two balls there towards sort of cover point point. So to me, it's either technical or you're defending the wrong ball. Yeah. What do you think with those two? They were similar balls. What do you think? Probably defending the wrong balls. Okay, cool. So just as a general rule, like if, it, if your, your risk goes up of nicking it, the, fur, the squarer that you defend it. So... Just be mindful when you're defending. It's either a positional thing or you've got to be a bit sharper on your decisions, whether you should be leaving that ball or if you're going to hit it, you sort of stroke the ball rather than defend it. Yeah. Shot. Good, good, nice position. Take your time. Nice. Just got to make sure when it's straight, you do open that toe a fraction so you can get your weight through the ball. If you keep your yeah. toe, front toe facing sort of cover, it becomes hard to get any weight over the top of the ball. So you've got to open. I'm yeah. not a fan of I'm not a fan of opening it to mid on because I think it opens your hips too much. So I like yeah. to sort of think of you try and point your toe between the bowler and mid off, and that allows you to get your weight forward, but doesn't open up your hips. Yeah. Just focus on your head. Your grip looks good. Just your head looks like it's going down and across a little. So head to mid off, yep. uh, mid on. Shot. Excellent. And you know what? How do you think you hit that power? Like if 10 out of 10 is as hard as you can hit it and one out of yep. 10 is as soft as you can hit it, what would you give that out of 10 in for power? Probably like four. Yeah, good. And, and when you're playing good quality fast bowlers, you don't need to try and hit it any harder than that. Yeah. I can, I can send you some footage after this of, of good players defending the ball for four when it's on the stumps and all they're doing, they're just leaning on it. But the pace of the ball and on good wickets and good grounds, it goes for four and it's low risk then. You're not trying to overhit it. So... In junior yeah. cricket, we in junior cricket we get into bad habits of trying to overhit the ball because we have to put pace on the ball. Yeah. But as you now that you're getting older, you're getting bigger, the bowling's getting quicker. You don't need to do that anymore, especially when it's on the stumps. You just want to stroke it down the ground. That was really good. Yeah. Thank you. Shut. Good. There's like a hole in the net. <laughs> Mark, you've probably... It's, it's a slightly hard to see from sort of this far away. You can probably tell me better. Where's his back? Where's the toe of his bat 
at release. It looks like it's slightly getting a bit behind him. Do you just have, just uh, don't have to tell, don't have have to tell me right now. Just have a look. Yeah. yeah. We want it sort of first to second slit. <clears throat> and then it sort of comes around in a little arc from there. We don't want it to get too far behind him. Okay. Oh. That was good. It's it's definitely uh, probably more a leg stump, leg stump to uh, slightly behind. Okay, so Jacob, just something to work on, and I don't, I don't want you to focus on now because it is it gets confusing when you're facing balls, and it's it's happening behind you, so it's it's a difficult thing to fix at times. It's it's all on feel if you're doing it now. What I suggest you do, and I I challenge you to do, is get in front of a mirror. And do it, practice your just shadow batting when you've got visual feedback, when you can see what you're doing. Yeah. And then you compare, okay, I feel like that bat's at first slip, but I can see that it's actually behind me. And then you bring it round to first slip and it might feel like you're holding it out to gully. But you then say, yeah. okay, that's actually first slip. And you can compare the feeling with what you're seeing. Yeah. Sweet. So don't worry about it now. Just something to be on, try and get on top of over time. We just don't want to get it creeping towards fine leg. Guys, just pausing the video for a minute to please ask you if you're liking this video, if you enjoy it, please like it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you're learning and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Put on the bell notification so you get notified whenever we do um, publish a new video. So thanks again for watching. Let's get back into it. What do you reckon? I think I overstepped it and I um was still leaning a bit back on it. Yep, and then that, that excellent analysis, and then that meant you pushed your bottom hand through a bit too much. Yeah. So the solution is shorter step head further forward, and you can use your left side a bit more to control the swing. Yeah. Nice. That's where you want them going. Like it. Yeah. Shot. Thoughts? Uh, probably could have gone a bit straighter. Okay. Looked pretty good. I think maybe slightly bottom hand pushing again, and maybe you could... I think I said this to you last time, just show me the face of the bat a bit more rather than the toe of the bat at the finish. Um, yeah. But all in all, I think that was pretty good. Like you'd get a big tick from most people from that shot, I reckon. Yeah. Does that make sense, the toe of the bat and the face of the bat finish position? Yeah, I just need to get my hand like through more. Yeah, left side pull up a bit more. Yeah. Save them. Good, good, nice, nice footwork. Fast onto that back foot. Yeah. That's the one. Yep. I reckon that's a combination. Maybe it's too wide to defend, but also I think your position could be slightly better to get it a bit straighter. You're sort of weights back a little, you're pushing out at it, and then you're slicing it square. Yeah. Yeah. Shut. Oh, no. It's all right. Why did that go yeah, there? Just played, that, just played that way too early. Yep. Why? Just need to... I pushed my hands at it. Yep. Why? I just need to... Leave. Not sure. Where was your body weight? Back. Yep. So weight was back. Pushed your hands at it. 
got it too early. Yep. So what's the solution? Wait for it and just play it under my eyes. Yep. How do you do that though? Um, like body weight forward. Well done. Spot on. Just get that head and weight forward. And then that's that that's when you keep them on the ground, you hit them well is when your head and weight's forward. Yeah. So I like I could have given you that answer, but I'm trying to lead you to understand it. So well done, you got there. Yeah. Oh, I should have just probably try to drive that more and sort of defend it. Yeah, you could could have gone through with it. You could have let your hands go. Yep. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. Good analysis. Well done. Shot. So you could get away with that one. I think I said something similar last time. You could get away with that. Your technique, I don't think, was spot on, but you could get away with it because it was so full. Yeah. So again, I just want you to just come down here and I'll give you a quick demo. Can you see me okay? Yep. So when you're driving, I want you to try and like finish, finish more here then sort of toe the bat up. Can you see that? Yeah. So more hit and finish with your sort of full face and shape rather than toe flicking up. And that shows that your bottom hand sort of pushing up and taking over rather than your top hand being in control. Yep. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Shot. Mate, that's class. <laughs> that felt really good. What was good about it? I think I got my head over and yep. waited for it a bit longer. Yeah, and you used your left side more. You didn't push out it with your <laughs> right side. You hit it. That meant you hit it later and with more control. And then you yeah. got more power. Absolutely yeah. brilliant, that, mate. Really, really good. High class, that. <laughs> Yes, and again, look at the difference. Yeah, so much. So much better because you're just that little difference of using your left side a bit more, not pushing out with your bottom hand makes such a difference. Yeah. Well done. Oh. Okay, I, I want you to give your attention to your back leg. What did your back leg do there? Came through, not the ball. Not really, mate. Maybe a bit. What? What? You, give it some more thought. What do you think your back leg did? Uh, it like like rose up. It like rose up. Now I reckon your back leg actually collapsed down, and then what that does, instead of having it straight and your weight's forward, your back leg's collapsed and your weight sits back. Yeah, like, yeah. and as you're doing your downswing. Your weight, your back leg collapsed, your weight stayed back, and then you have to push with the bottom hand. That's why it went in the air. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Wait. Pretty good, pretty good. But that was, again, just a bit too much bottom hand pushing. Yeah. Would have come leg side, but pretty good. Okay, just keep checking that grip and don't rush. Don't rush. Give yourself a chance. Reset and refocus. Excellent. Excellent. That's where you want that going. Brilliant batting. Yeah. So if you get that position like solid consistently that could become a run scoring shot. Like you start, let's imagine you're facing Jimmy Anderson at Lords and he's only got a, a sort of a wide mid off and, a, and a, like a wide mid on. You get in that position and that's runs. Yeah. So, so that's, that's where you've got to sort of start thinking. If you want to take your game to the elite level and to play against the best bowlers, you don't need to sort of thump the ball or smack it with the bottom hand. It's just getting in good positions with your body weight and just stroking the ball like you did there. 
Ya. Nice again, bud. Love it. Love it. Quality. How's that feel? Mm -hmm. That felt good again. Felt like I got in a, another pretty good position. Yeah, awesome. awesome. Where, where and I, I think I think something, I'm just harping on this point because I think it's an important one, but I think as you get older, the feeling of like smacking the ball, you'll actually, you, you want to start craving that feeling there where you're just solid and like you feel like nothing's yeah. going to get through compared to when you absolutely smack the pants off it to a medium pacer. Yeah. Good. Shot. What do you reckon? Thoughts? Probably too much bottom hand again. Yep. Why? To use the left, left side of my body more. Yep. Why? Um, body weight was still a bit quite bad. Yep. Quite backwards. Excellent. Why? What happened before that? Well, I'm not, not sure. sure. Oh, yep. Good honesty. No. Good honesty. I think you probably overstrode that time. Too, yeah. too big of a step and then your body weight couldn't get forward. Yeah. Yeah, just a small, like slightly too big makes it just a bit hard to get forward. Then everything else flows on from that. You couldn't use your left side. But really good understanding, mate. Thank Thoughts? I just try to hit that too hard. Yep. Yep. Good analysis. Good analysis. And then everything breaks down because you're trying to thump it. Yeah. So just what do you need to do? Just wait for it. Yeah. Just And just trust yourself. You don't have to try and thump it and, and sort of force it. Yeah. Lovely shot. So much different. So much better, isn't it? Yeah. It's Actually, just... I try in good positions instead of trying to smoke it. Yeah, and you need to start because, mate, this is a really important moment. Like, a growing up and in your life, I might have said this to you last time, I might not have, but in your life, you've used your right side to, to do things. It's your strong side. So yeah. you naturally want to revert to hitting it with your right side. But now we've got to start trusting our left side more. Yeah. We've got to put trust. Cause when you get in the, your body weight, right. And you use your left side like that last one, it's so much better than when you try and thump it with your right. It, it goes against what's natural. So we're retraining our body, reprogramming our mind as well. Yeah. Definitely. Crowd goes wild as Badlin brings up his home. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, very. <laughs> that's, such that's, a good shot. Head, that's such a good shot, mate. So let's unpack it. What was good about it? Uh, I just didn't. I didn't try and overhead it. Um, I don't think my bottom hand went through too much, but my weight was pretty good. Very good. Very good. You got you got effortless power because your weight was excellent. Yeah, that like you're so happy with that because it just pinged off the bat and you didn't yeah. actually feel like you had to put much into it. So it's called effortless power because you got your body in the right position. Yeah. So good, mate. Really, really good. Thank you. Mark, Mark I've lost you. Oh, Dad, something popped up on your phone. Something popped up on your phone. I've lost you. So 
Jacob, that's another great example of just trusting yourself and trusting the positions you're getting into now. Yeah. That was world class, mate. That doesn't need to be any better. That doesn't need to be any better. We just got to now get consistent. Yeah. That's enough. All right, we're back. We're back on. Yeah, sorry, mate. Just lost you for a sec. No, no dramas. Oh, Ooh. and again. That one was yeah, a that... little, little tiny slice, but still a beautiful shot. Yeah, that, that, cut, that pinged off of that. Yeah, surprising. Well, mate, you timed it beautifully. Timed it beautifully. Oh, oh, here he goes. What a player. What a player. Mate, that's so good. So good. Feeling good. Awesome. Now, what's the key here? Okay, just take a sec. What's what's important now? I'm not to try to overhead it and just keep my position. Spot on. But also, you, you've hit three beautiful shots in a row. Your emotion's high. You're excited. You're feeling good. And what often happens is someone then goes after the wrong ball, next ball. Yeah. So, so the key is... The key is to try and stay really calm and in the moment. Yeah. Just play every ball as it comes. Next ball's another challenge, a new ball. Shot boy. Shot boy. Brilliant. Deep breath, refocus, reset yourself and refocus on the next ball. Excellent batting. That's as good as any of the drives because your position's so, the same. It's just shorter. So you're defending it. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, mate, you are putting on a clinic. <laughs> okay. Enjoy it. Learn from it. And then deep breath. Reset yourself and refocus on the next ball. Crucial. Quality, bud. Really, really good. Okay, this is where you. I talk about the four R's. Reflect, relax, reset, refocus, so that you're not getting too excited and going after the wrong ball. You've been excellent so far. You've defended the ones that were a bit shorter and should be defended. You've attacked yep. the four ones. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. So I think we're just having a bit of a yeah, all good, mate. I, we've I got know. Too many people and too many nets. Yeah, no worries, nets. mate. No worries. I'm here just chilling. Are we moving over? Yeah, okay. I'm just going to jump over nets. What do you reckon, Mark? How's he going? So I think he's just taking his AirPods out. He's just having a talk oh. to... Oh, yeah, cool, cool. Just having a net there, talk to people. Um... Yeah, it's looking, it's looking good. I can, I definitely can see when he doesn't overstep, all of his balance comes along. It's, yep. when, he, it's when he really pushes out with that front foot that he over, overbalances himself and that weight goes backwards. So it's a yep. massive difference when it, when, it, when it works, when it goes properly. Yeah, and he's become very consistent. The last eight balls or so have been elite. Probably take a little bit of time to get used to it. I think all the coaching we, at junior level is always about taking that big step. You know? Yep. Yeah. Oh, mate, it, it'll it'll take months. Like, and I, I'm I'm really impressed with how quickly he is getting it and how consistently he's getting. Because normally it takes months or even years to out untrain that bad habit. Yeah. Oh, 
my boy. Oh, that was close to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, that, what do you reckon there? Yeah, why? Uh, I think I... I'm actually not sure. Okay, what did your back leg do? Did it collapse again? No, nah, but you just did it there. Uh, you just did it there. Uh, it like it opened up. Exactly. Like kind of what it, front exactly. on to the side on. Exactly. Well done. Hands follow your hips. And because your back yeah. legs like opened up, your hand sliced across the ball and you sort of sliced the ball. Yeah. So well done. So the key is to try and keep that back leg side on. You've been really good with that today. Why couldn't you get power into that one, do you think? Uh, I think because I didn't really open my front foot up a little bit. I kind of kept it a bit straighter. So I was playing across my front leg. Yeah, good, good. And I, it looked, it looked, I couldn't tell completely, but it looked like maybe you took slightly too big a step and your weight was back, and all you could then do is stop it. Yeah. So when it's straight, it's got to be a quite a short step, enough to, that you can balance over your front knee, but not sort of too big that you have to sort of play around your leg. Yeah. Sharp boy, class. Class. So just stay nice and calm and focused on every ball. You've been excellent. Do you want to do you want to talk a little bit about back foot there, or should we just leave that for another time? What do you think? Um. Yeah, I think we can do back foot now. All right. So show me show me what position you just got into and what position you want to get into for the back foot punch, like you just played. Um. Back and across. Yep. Just kind of un underneath it. But I think yep. I played that one a bit too much outside my eye line. Yep. Okay. Out so I reckon. Sorry to cut you off. You go. Oh, good. Oh, no. Yeah, so I think I should have just played it a bit more under my eyes. Okay. So I think your back foot has been excellent. You've been getting across and onto the back foot quickly, which allows you to get set. What I think, like I talk about the front foot when you're driving, what your back leg's doing, I think your front leg when you're on the back foot has been sort of making it harder for you. Because what you've been doing is getting your stance for me. Okay, go back and across just with your back foot. You've been taking that left leg towards square leg. You take that left leg towards square leg. Your front foot, your left leg towards square leg. Yep. And then your weight is going with it. Your weight is going away from the ball and you're pushing yeah. at it rather than you want that left foot coming towards your back foot. And then you stay side on, you hit the same shape you do on the front foot and everything's yeah. under your eyes. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so it, people don't talk much about what your back leg does on the front foot and what your front leg does on the back foot, but they have a huge impact on your body position, which has a huge impact on your swing. Yeah. So just come down here for a sec. I'll show you so we get this right. Can you see my feet okay? Yeah. So something I, I talk about and I try and focus on when I do it is if I get – my front foot in line with my back foot, I feel like I'm a bit closed off for that ball that comes in at me. Yeah. So I want to stay side on and I want to bring it back towards me. I don't want to come this way and I don't want to open up with my hips. But what I want to, what I try and think of is I go back and across and I want this left toe, left sort of big toe, somewhere in line with my right heel there. So that'll let, it keeps me side on. But it means that if the ball nips in, I've got this hip, the hip's not across, I've got a bit of space to deal with it. Yeah. And the other thing is, I don't want, can you see, still see my feet? Yep. I don't want this to come to there because I've got, no, I'm not balanced then. I want about, I want about shoulder width or slightly smaller in between my feet because I'm still balanced. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. That makes sense. So so side on, 
Left foot comes towards my back foot. Front foot comes towards my back foot. I lift my front heel. So then all the weight, most of my weight's on my back foot. I'm side on, but I'm not, I'm not too close with my feet. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. Uh, again. Good. Just the back legs turned around a little, so it's your sl little yeah. slice. Better, better, but it could have been slightly in closer. Yep, good. good. Yep. Now you're aware of it. Now you understand it. Take your time. We're going to be so, in the yep. So now we're we're thirty. What are we? Uh, nearly forty minutes. Nearly forty minutes into the session. So you're going to start to fatigue. So you just got to give yourself the moment a little bit longer in between balls so that you can refocus every ball. We're doing, you're getting, you're getting quantity in, but you want to make sure you're getting quality, which you have been up until this point. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's better. That front leg could have come slightly closer and slightly more side on, but yeah. And I think you, I think you sort of got a bit front on and sliced it squarer than you could have. But all in all, I think it was a pretty good shot. Yeah, thank you. Nearly, nearly, just hip side on as well, but your footwork is okay. Yeah. <clears throat> they don't have those whistles going in the background today. No, I don't and the game stopped. <laughs> nearly. What do you think you could have done better there? Uh, probably just. Try not. I uh, tried to hit it too hard. Probably should have played it more under on my eyes and so I get a bit better balance. Okay, good. So to me, that's. I think you just pushed your bottom hand at it, and that's a result of trying to yeah. hit it too hard. So everything's the same as the front foot. You just got your weight in a different position, and the ball's higher. So I want you to yeah. use that left side a bit more and hit it, hit it into the ground with your left side. Cool. Well played. Well played. Good. All good. All good. You probably could have gone back to a couple of them. So just keep reacting nice and yeah. still at release and then see the ball and move. I suppose you want me to mix them up a little bit or just keep them on the back foot? Whatever you think. I'm, I'm easy. Like mixed up's probably good, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. Nice shot. Nice shot. Hey, good. Ooh. 
Where'd that go? I'm getting to the injured. I think it's not clear. I don't Good batting. Good decision. Good decision. What happened there? White was back. Yep. So, it, like, the, the, the sort of the root of most problems, the root of most issues when you get it wrong is when your weight's back. And when you get your weight right, you, you're, you're then able to use your left side and hit it under your eyes and hit it with power. Yeah. So just getting your weight right and hit Solid. Shot. See, that wasn't a half volley, but because your weight's in a good position, you can still get on top of it and stroke it. Good batting. Yeah. Thank you. Play. Opened up your foot a bit better there. Mark, I've lost the video. Mark? Yep, got you. Yep. Should we back up? Yep. Shot. That is world class. <laughs> Thank you. Happy with that, aren't you? Yeah, that was stoked with that one. That's so good because your balance is good, your weight's forward, and you're hitting with your left side. Brilliant. Effortless power. I think I kind of like so. Had a problem where I'll, I'll see it like coming towards my thigh pad and I kind of panic a little bit and like rush myself and then I've had it I've had it for a while now I think I'm like almost not trusting myself to hit it yeah. and I'm thinking like oh, I'm, I'm gonna get hit on my thigh pad and I I'm like close close my I mean so I open my body up to try yep like Good. get my bat in front of it more so what I would do right this is if I was there with you, <clears throat> it might sound silly at first. I'd get your dad to come sort of on his knee halfway down the wicket or a third of the way down the wicket. And I'd get him to underarm balls and I'd just let them hit you in your thigh pad. And then yeah. just like literally just let them hit you in your thigh pad and then go, oh, actually, that doesn't hurt. So you try and yeah. understand that you've got padding on there and that's number one. And then number two, I'd start working on the basics of that ball. Like again, underarms where you're sort of like probably going back a little bit and you're sort of, you're just opening up that hip and you're just letting the ball hit the bat. Yeah. I reckon that length, you're probably better off playing off the back foot than the front foot. You go back, yeah. you give yourself that little bit of extra time. You just let the ball hit the bat and use the pace of the ball to take it sort of square leg or wherever. And, and then yeah. just build your confidence rather than trying to do it at a hundred mile an hour. Right now, you start yeah. small and you start progressing. Yeah. But like, you know the answer. You just said there, you're not trusting yourself. So you just got to take a deep yeah. breath and try and be really calm about it and just trust yourself. Yeah. Beautiful, mate. That's excellent. And again, really good. Just let it come to you. Yeah. Yeah, oh, shot boy. Oh, that felt good as well. Yeah, I think huh? I just played, I played with the face of my bat and my bottom hand didn't come through too much. Yep. Got, got balanced. 
It was brilliant, mate. Brilliant. Hitting so well down the ground. Last six. Sweet. Thoughts? And I just pushed at that one a little too much. Probably could have had it a bit straighter. Yep. What's the solution? Wait. Wait forward. Ooh. All good. Check your grip. Three more. Just reset, refocus. Good, good. Could be slightly shorter step when it's straight there, but pretty good. Yeah. Hi, mate. Shop. Let's finish on that. Finish on that, bud. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Mate, that was high class, that. Very impressed. Thank you. What do you think? Give me a summary and how do you feel? What, what's going on there? I feel, feel really good about like, my shots straight down the ground. Um, I think when I was getting myself into the right positions, I was hitting them really, really nicely. Um, I think actually my weight was still back quite a bit. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say quite a bit. Yeah. I would say like, like yeah, maybe. I reckon three out of five were really good, and two out of five were weight was back a bit. Yeah, definitely. But, so that's a that's a good outcome. I reckon. Hopefully, it, it continues to be more like like close four or five out of five. But all in all, I think that was yeah. good. Thank you. What else? What else? Um, yeah, I just think the my steps were still a bit too big some of the time. I think I was overstepping, which was also causing my weight to be to be back. And the the ones on my hips too, I was kind of panicking a bit. I just never trust myself to trust myself to hit the ball. I think the ones on your hip, I wouldn't have noticed that you were panning. I thought you played them okay, to be honest. But good awareness, good understanding for you, good honesty. Mate, I'm really impressed. I think I think you're getting, you're starting to get the position quite quickly. Like when I first saw you, those first ten balls last session, you were nowhere near oh. what you are today. So, and yeah. that's like a little bit of different information, but you've now implemented it. You're putting it into practice. It's awesome and it's very exciting to see where you can go from here. It was, it was very impressive. Thank you. What definitely, do you think, I could, I could definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Good, good, good. Mark. Yeah. I think, uh, I think if I was, if I was hitting a lot better in my second net in the winter, I'd be pretty happy. I think it's positions, positions are a lot better, a lot more, um, a lot more balanced to the crease. And that's what we're looking for. Yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, good, good, uh, improvements over the, over a couple of weeks, he's been doing yeah, a fair bit of shallow batting and just trying to get him get himself in that right position and get, working on that grip mainly uh, yeah. over yeah. over the last few weeks. So that that looked that looked pretty good today. It wasn't closed off. Yeah, grip looked excellent. Grip looked excellent. Mm. I didn't sort of mention that really at all. Just and and the shadow batting is so helpful because it, it's the body movements yeah. that you want. So a couple of things you can go away and work on now is the back foot position where you sort of go back and across and you bring that front foot with it and you stay side on. So you can do that in the mirror and then just being mindful of your grip. Um, it didn't really, and not your grip, sorry, your pickup and where your bat's going. I don't think it affected you too much today. It might be contributing to when those straighter balls, you find it a little bit hard to get to because it's behind you. So yeah. um, one thing I notice is sometimes your left hand just creeps away from your body while, while your right hand stays a bit closer. And what that does, it takes yeah. the, back, the toe to fine leg. So in the mirror, you could just focus on keeping that left hand in a bit closer, toe of the bat yeah. out, 
and, and the right hand out a bit further. That'll keep the toe out. And then everything can just be a bit smoother, especially when it's straight. Won't affect you when it's yeah. off stump or wider, but it's those middle, middle leg balls that you'll get, you'll struggle to get to when your toe's going to find legs. Yeah. So those two things, keep working on the grip in the mirror, but those two things are, are, are some homework for you. The more you do, the quick, the quicker you'll improve. But well done, mate. I, I'm, I'm pumped. I think that was awesome. Thank you very much. Any questions, Please. any thoughts before we wrap up? No, I'm all good. Awesome. When do you want another hit, Mark? What are you thinking? Well, another uh, two or three weeks. We'll, we'll do a session in between. And um, if, you're, if you're good for uh, for a couple of weeks, then that, that'll be good for us. Yeah, easy. Let's So, fortnight from now? Yeah, perfect. All right, let's aim for that'll be the 13th. All right, Le legends. Well done, guys. Thanks, man. Enjoy. Uh, Thank you very much. Enjoy five days at home with your, with your newborn. Yeah, thanks, mate. Looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. See you, guys. Lining, eh? See you, mate. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. See ya.